Soas is unique in so many ways. It's a place that has a certain energy. It's very difficult to describe to a non-Soas person. Distinctive, quirky, passionate and critical. I think that sums it up pretty well. It feels very free, like everyone feels like they're doing what they want. Everybody has something that they're really interested in. The library is one of the real pride and joys of SOAS. We have people coming in from considerable distances to use the resources. SOAS is probably top of the, the list of universities for people that want to engage in a variety of different debates. There are a lot of opinions from all over the world, from Asia, from Middle East, from Africa, from Russia, from European countries. The typical SOAS student really feels quite passionate about social and political issues in the world today and, and in some sense wants to make their mark. Not only the students but the academics are very passionate. The teaching is the best thing about SOAS. The food co-op is like really cheap. I mean it's completely run by volunteers. You just sign up every week. It's a really good way just to meet people. There's also like events, dancing, drumming, Kayleys, and loads of concerts. Everybody here is from a different part of the world, from a different part of the country. By meeting new people you learn so much about everybody else. People from SAS are really, really chilled. The bar is a lot different from just sort of the standard university bars. It's a little bit cheaper than some of the other ones. It's also got a bit more going on culturally. Just hanging out is good enough for a lot of people, not necessarily drinking. Historically, this being in Russell Square, you know, you historically had bohemian liberal uh, groups and, you know, activists, you know, talking in the various cafes around. Within walking distance of SOAS is Bloomsbury, so you have amazing academic resources and then you also have museums and art galleries, the theatre district, Chinatown, that's all within walking distance of SOAS. The best thing about Bloomsbury is the, the modest nature of, of the area. It's nestled right at the heart of London, but not within the city of London. So you get a good blend of vibrancy but modesty at the same time. In the Brunswick Centre, uh, you can go to the Renoir Cinema. It's an independent cinema that shows everything from opera from New York to sort of independent films. Lamb's Conduit is like a kind of little village atmosphere to it. There's a lot of um, really nice high-end shops. We have quite a few um, street festivals and stuff like that. A couple of good pubs as well, so it's like a real mixture. Just go out. If you get lost, ask someone for directions. Like everyone's friendly around here. You'll stumble across like all these great side streets where there are so many little cafes and hidden little galleries. With all the square gardens around here, you've got uh, Russell Square, Bedford Square, like uh, Regent's Park. There's a bowling alley as well, Bloomsbury Bowling Lanes, yeah, all sorts. Oh, the summer is glorious, the summer is beautiful. Yeah, London is at its best. I am looking forward to teaching on the summer school and I think it's been a long time coming. The advice I'd give to students coming here is come prepared not to sleep. You can work hard but there's plenty to do. You have a global metropolis on your doorstep.